Most people know me as Mo Farah, but it's not my name or it's not the reality. He's one of the UK's most decorated athletes, but Sir Mo Farah has been living with a huge secret. Aged nine, named Hussein Abdi Kahin, he was trafficked to the UK and forced to work as a domestic servant. That is my photo, but it's not my name from that moment. Coming in with a different name and different identity. In Scotland, those working with victims of trafficking warn the problem is getting worse. In the, the year of COVID, we had uh, over 320 victims that were rescued in Scotland. The year before, there was over 500, 520. Now, that's because we stopped recording in the year of COVID. But now we're seeing at least four times that on a daily basis. So we're anticipating the numbers to be significantly higher, so over 1,000. To help children trafficked here, the Scottish Guardianship Service pairs them with trusted adults for support. All of these things are so scary for children, you know, instructing a lawyer, going to the Home Office to be interviewed about the worst things that have happened in your life is terrifying. Lawyers that work on cases of child trafficking say the threat of deportation stops many victims coming forward. I think there's always the, the grave concern that they have that they're going to be deported, they're going to be removed, um, that their status here isn't safe, they're not secure. The Home Office say they won't take action over Sir Mo Farah's case because he was a child at the time. For many victims, this modern form of slavery remains their reality. Vanessa Taff, STV News.